Welcome back. Despite of the rising interest rate approaching 7%, the home prices in King County had just increased yet again. In fact, from January to June, the median home price has gone up by over $133,000, which is almost 17% in merely 5 months. So it begs the question, is it better for buyers to wait until the end of the year? In this month's Seattle Real Estate Update for July 2023, I'll be unpacking the latest data straight from the multiple listing service. We'll be discussing the latest trends in housing prices, interest rates, inventory, and much, much more. So let's jump right in. Hi, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is TC Wu. My bio includes being a real estate broker and investor for 20 plus years. I'm a state licensed real estate instructor, developer, and a partner at a real estate brokerage and property management company in Seattle. First, let's talk about the housing prices. Take a look at this. After almost seven months of steady price decline since May of last year, our home prices in King County are making a comeback, reaching similar levels as the beginning of 2022. However, there's a huge elephant in the room that we need to talk about, and that is the interest rate. Back in 2022, we're talking about interest rates in the high threes or the low fours. Today, buyers are getting quoted in the high sixes for 30-year fixed. Therefore, the unaffordability is definitely a huge issue for buyers right now. And unfortunately, the data is showing that there's very little relief inside this year. Here's why. For prices to go down, we need more inventory. However, this year, due to the rate lockdown effect, our new listings have been unusually low compared to historical level. In June, we only had 2,468 houses that came on the market. While over the past five years, we have always had over 3,000 to 4,000 new listings in June. And this is because many property owners are now willing to sell and lose their existing low interest rates. And at the same time, home builders are hesitant to take on new projects since the rate on a construction loan has skyrocketed to almost around 9%. Now, on the demand side, despite of the recent layoff announcements, the unemployment rate in the greater Seattle area is still low at 3.4%. Therefore, we definitely are not seeing foreclosures or bank-owned properties flooding the market right now. With everything that's going on, if we take the current housing inventory available for sale in King County and adjust it with demand from buyers, we now have about 1.5 months of supply. As we only have 0.9 months of supply six months ago, more options are actually becoming available for buyers, which is good news. But the biggest question for home buyers right now is, are we better off waiting for the interest rate to drop later on this year? As the inflation seems to be more under control, it's projected that interest rate might become cheaper towards the end of the year. And this is what we're telling our clients right now. To get the best of both worlds, consider getting a property now if you find the right deal. Then refinance and lock into that lower interest rate when the rates dropped. The reason is that when the interest rate drops, it often leads to higher prices with more buyers entering the market. This way we're getting the property before that happens and still be able to take advantage of the low interest rate later. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you find the information helpful. Please contact me with any real estate related question. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't. You can also receive our weekly one minute updates. I wish you well, I wish your family well, and I look forward to seeing you next time.